everybody. I think we're set now. So again, good evening. <laughs> And welcome to the public meeting for the Interstate 75 at County Road 484 Interchange Improvement Project from west of Southwest 20th Avenue Road to east of County Road 475A. My name is Frank Caruso, and I am the project consultant managing the design on behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation. Before we start the presentation, I will share a few items to help you participate in this meeting if you are attending virtually using GoToWebinar. On your computer or device screen, you should see a control panel in the upper right corner. To listen to the meeting, your computer or device speakers are selected by default. If you prefer to listen by phone, Select telephone in the audio pane of the control panel and dial in using the information display. For those who dialed into the meeting on a telephone line, the slides are available for download at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 433-651-1. All attendees will be placed in listen-only mode throughout the meeting. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. Using the control panel, you can comment or ask questions during the meeting. Comments and questions can be typed in the questions pane. Attendees uh, listening in by phone may contact the project manager soon after and directly after the meeting to present questions and comments. Comment information will be, will be provided later in the presentation. We will collect all comments and questions and provide responses at a later date. If you happen to experience technical issues during the meeting, please type the issue in the question pane on the control panel to report it. Staff will do their best to assist you. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to the public meeting regarding the I-75 at County Road 484 Interchange Improvement Project from west of southwest 20th Avenue Road to east of County Road 475A. My name is Sue Howe, and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5. Interested persons have been invited to attend this meeting in person here at the Marion Oaks Community Center online using GoToWebinar and by phone. The meeting is being recorded and the recording will be posted to the project webpage within a week at www.cflroads.com slash 433-651-1. We are here today to provide an update on improvements originally presented during a public hearing in October 2016. The project in advance is now scheduled for construction in summer 2021. Members of the project team who will be presenting information during the meeting are engineer record David Shearer and project consultant Frank Caruso. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting either Jennifer Smith. Florida Department of Transportation, District 5, Title 6 Coordinator at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720-386-943-5367, and her email is jennifer.smith2 at doc.state.fl.us, or Jacqueline Paramore, Florida Department of Transportation, Statewide Title 6 Coordinator at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 323-99-0450-850-414-4753, and your email is jacqueline.paramore at doc.state.fl.us. 
And here to present the topic and syllabus is Mr. Shear. I'm David Shear, engineer of record for the project. The project limits for this project begin west of Southwest 20th Avenue Road and end east of County Road 475A along County Road 484 in Marion County. The total project length is approximately 0.75 miles. The purpose of the project is to improve safety and traffic flow at the I-75 and County Road 484 interchange. The project includes the following proposed improvements. I-75 on and off ramp improvements. Modification of the northbound I-75 on-ramp to accommodate dual left turns from eastbound County Road 484. Addition of a second left turn lane for additional capacity from the northbound I-75 off-ramp to westbound County Road 484. The I-75 bridges includes the modification of the I-75 bridges to accommodate an additional lane by removing the existing concrete slope under the northern span and replacing it with a retaining wall. County Road 484 at I-75 interchange. Eastbound County Road 484 includes the addition of a second left turn lane to northbound I-75. Westbound County Road 484 includes the addition of a right turn lane to northbound I-75. County Road 484 at County Road 475A intersection. Eastbound County Road 484 includes the addition of a second left turn lane to northbound County Road 475A. County Road 475A south side of the intersection includes the addition of a second left turn lane to westbound County Road 484. County Road 475A north side of the intersection includes the addition of a right turn lane to westbound County Road 484. These additional turn lanes provide additional turning capacity to improve the overall operations of the intersection. Additional items include improvements of bicycle lane and pedestrian sidewalk connectivity through the project limits, upgrading existing traffic signals, and modification and or reconstruction of the existing medians to improve safety. The existing lane configuration along County Road 484 provides two 12-foot wide travel lanes, a four-foot wide bike lane, and five to six-foot wide sidewalks in each direction separated by median varying in width from 22 feet to 34 feet. The proposed typical section would provide wider five to six foot wide buffered bike lanes while maintaining two 11 foot travel lanes in each direction and five to six foot wide sidewalks. To accommodate the widening under I-75, the bridges will be modified by removing the existing concrete slopes other, under the northern span and constructing a new retaining wall. The existing lane configuration under I-75 provides two 12-foot wide westbound travel lanes, one 12-foot wide westbound left turn lane, two 11-foot wide eastbound travel lanes, one 11 foot wide eastbound left turn lane, and four foot wide westbound bike lane, and a five foot wide westbound sidewalk with a barrier separated medium. The proposed lane configuration provides two 11 foot wide westbound travel lanes, one 12 foot wide westbound left turn lane, two 11-foot wide eastbound travel lanes, and one 11-foot wide eastbound left turn lane, and the addition of a second 12-foot wide eastbound left turn lane. Also, five-foot westbound and five-foot eastbound bike lanes and a six-foot wide sidewalk will be provided in each direction.
three median openings within the project limits will be modified to improve safety and operation. Median modifications include closing the current two-way directional opening just east of Southwest 20th Avenue Road. Two, realigning the one-way directional median opening to the side road between the McDonald's and Waffle House. And three, closing the one-way directional median opening between the Marathon and Shell gas stations. The project includes the construction of Pond 2 to accommodate the additional drainage requirements resulting from the roadway widening. Proposed Pond 1 is an existing pond site that will be modified by the county prior to the start of this project. Design is expected to be complete in spring 2021 and construction is anticipated to begin in summer 2021. Construction is expected to last approximately 30 months and the construction cost is estimated to be $12.9 million. The department encourages the public to participate in the I-75 at County Road 484 interchange improvement project by submitting comments and questions. There are multiple ways to do this. For those attending in person, you may complete a comment form and return it tonight or send it back by mail or email to me, Sue Howe. For those attending virtually, comments and questions can be typed into the questions pane of the GoToWebinar. Virtual attendees may also download a comment form from the handout section of the GoToWebinar and return to the address provided. Everyone, including those of you who dialed in, can submit your comments or questions after the meeting to me by email at su.hao at doc.state.sl.us. Uh, mail at suhow, FDOT, Project Manager, FDOT, District 5, 719, South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 2-542, Deland, Florida, 32720 or by phone at 386-943-5161. This information is also available on the project website at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 433-651-1. As said earlier, responses to all comments and questions will be provided at a later date. While comments are accepted anytime, comments received by February 9th, 2021 will become part of the record for this meeting. All comments and questions submitted through these options are part of the public record for the public meeting. A recording of this meeting will be posted at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 433 one within a week of the meeting. If you have any additional questions or comments, please contact me by mail at suhow, FDOC project manager, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 2-542, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5161, or by email at su.hao.co.sl.us. This information is also available on the project website at www.cflrose.com slash project slash 433-51-1. We appreciate you taking the time to attend this meeting, and we look forward to hearing your comments on this project. Thank you. And for those who are attending virtually, um, we will leave this open for just a few meeting. Um, afterwards, you'll see the playboard with where we will be standing. And if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them. For those who are attending online, um, we do invite, I will keep this open for a few more minutes for you to type in any questions or comments using the question pane. Again, for those of you who are dialing in by telephone, um, please contact FDOT project manager Sue Howell directly after the meeting to provide comments and questions. Again, his contact information is telephone 386-943-5161. His email address is su.hao at dot state dot fl dot us. 
and his mail address is Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. We thank you for participating in this public meeting. As I said, we'll leave the webinar open for just a few more minutes to give you an opportunity to enter questions and comments. As a reminder, we will be responding to all questions and comments after the meeting. Um, if you missed any part of this presentation, um, the presentation slides are available in the handout section of this GoToWebinar, as well as on the project website. A recording of this meeting will also be posted to the project website at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 433-651-1.
All right, well, thank you again for attending this public information meeting for the Interstate 75 at County Road 484 Interchange Improvements Project. Seeing that no other questions coming in, we will go ahead and close this webinar. We do encourage you to get in touch with FDOT Project Manager Sue Howe if you have any additional questions or comments. Again, his phone number is 386-943-5161. His email is su.hao at dot state dot fl dot us. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.